Bob Hall here with another Awesome Farm video. Uh, I made a video yesterday. We um, are we got down to 15 degrees and the heater in the greenhouse failed. And as you can see, we uh, we lost everything. So I'll put a link to that video in this one. You can go watch that if you want. But today, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to clean all this up, and hopefully, if I can get the camera to work right, I'll do a time uh, lapse so it'll go real quick even though I'm sure it'll take me hours and uh, we'll, we'll clean this up then we're going to come back and uh, all this fruit is just all squishy and it, it froze too but the seeds will be good and so I'll show you we're going to transplant so I'm going to save the fruit uh, one bucket I'm going to put uh, the tomatoes in the other one I'm going to put the different peppers in and uh, then I'll show you how we're going to seed this uh, and hopefully in about three weeks or so we'll be able to transplant and uh, get this greenhouse uh, underway again. So uh, keep, keep watching and we'll, we'll try not to make the time lapse too long and then we'll get to the part where we're showing you how we uh, germinate the seeds. able to see me but I want to show you we got lots of peppers and we got a whole bunch of tomatoes and I want to show you how we're going to reseed the greenhouse the uh, even though these froze the seeds are fine so I'm just going to slice them open and just squeeze the juice out of them. The rest of it I'll feed to the chickens. But we saved the bigger, the bigger cherry tomatoes. Now that one's not quite ripe enough. On us. I want to show you. I don't know if you can see in here. But uh, see, there's a bunch of gel all around the tomato seeds. And that is a protective covering that will prevent the tomato seeds from germinating. But what happens is nature, now if you let this just sit, it would start to decay. And the decaying process with the uh, the fungus eats all that gel off of the seed so it actually is nature's way of protecting the tomato seed while uh, it's being processed to germinate so once all the once the mold and bacteria have eaten all the uh, gel off of these seeds they'll germinate and that usually takes three to four days to do. If uh, you, you can do this in your kitchen, you just uh, put these seeds and like squ squirt them like this in a jar of, or a bowl of water, uh, in about three days it'll crust over with mold. And that's perfectly fine. That's exactly what you want to have happen because that's nature's way of taking all this protective film off of these seeds and then you can just put them on a paper towel, dry them, and store them, and you got perfectly good seeds. So that's how you do tomato seeds. Our advantage is because we're an aquaponic system, it's like being in a, a bowl of water. It'll automatically take care of that for us. And I'm going ahead and squeeze out a lot of these. The rest of them, I may make more seeds and keep them in the house. Because these, these things, they were a buck and a half a piece when I bought them a couple years ago so doesn't you know 
do it once is fine, but uh, to uh, to continue to pay that kind of money for a seed, I just don't see it. So I just save my own. So usually I I uh, I either do it this way in the aquaponics system. Now what I'll do is I'll just kind of grind them in. There you go. Now, in a few days, we're going to be in the mid 70s the rest of this week. Uh, by the end of the week, these guys should be all broken down and start to germinate. And in three or four weeks, we'll we'll transplant them again. And hopefully, I put enough seeds in here that I'll get more than I need growing. And then I'll have some to give to some of my friends who have systems and that around here. Or I can just plant them in the food forest. Uh, we're in the second week of June, uh, January right now, but you know, come come March, we should be able to start planting in the food forest. Now I'm going to wind up. I'm going to go to another bed, and I'll cut the peppers and do the same thing to the peppers that uh, I did to, to the tomatoes. Now they're already they don't have a gel on them, so they're pretty much ready to germinate as soon as I put them in. And we had all kinds of different peppers. We had ghost peppers, bell peppers sweet peppers and habaneros so I'm gonna take my time I won't show that on the film but uh, uh, we'll plant them in, in different sections and uh, get them germinating as well so uh, anyway that's the best you can do out of a bad situation you, you can see we we've cleaned up the and hopefully that time lapse worked on the video and you'll see us uh, in 45 seconds clean up where you know it really took us about a half hour Anyway, uh, and then we plant it and we'll grow. So if you uh, if you like what we're doing here on the farm, we'd uh, appreciate you hitting the like button and sharing our videos with others and uh, subscribe to our channel. We'll, uh, we'll keep you posted on all the things that uh, we're doing uh, to be sustainable and uh, uh, natural. And we appreciate you watching.